Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Troy. Coming at you in a video. You know, missed the day. Yikes. But we won't talk about it. Um, I was lazy. And um, I feel like if I miss a day here and there, it's not the end of the world. Because I am trying. <laughs> That's all that matters. Anyway, I was on Twitter. I have no, like, crazy topic. Literally just rambling about bullshit. That's literally what I do constantly. Anyway, I was on Twitter. And I saw that like for like Electric Forest was trending because I guess Electric Forest just canceled their festival. And I'm like, what the hell? I mean, like Bonnaroo. Like, I, if you didn't know, like I, me and my friends have Bonnaroo tickets, and we were planning on going, and it was like in the middle of June, and we were so excited to go, but it got pushed back to like September, I think maybe. I don't even keep track of the date because I don't know if we'll be able to go to festivals by then. But September, I mean, because you, you are bringing like, hundreds of thousands of people to a specific location at a given time so like especially things like coachella like that's almost that's probably like over a million people that probably go to that shit so i do get that like if, between the whole weekend of coachella a million people probably go which is fucking nuts like when i went to Lollapalooza for like one of the first times i think the first time i was looking around at all the fucking i was looking around at all the teenagers and I didn't even think that, like, it puts in perspective how many people are, like, on this planet. Because I didn't even know there was that many teenagers on the fucking planet Earth. Like, it sounded, it sounds nuts. But when you see seas and, like, a sea, like, like through, like, normal Chicago streets, Lakeshore Drive, you see it all covered with, like, young people. It's just weird. Like, it gets, like, it's a weird dynamic. You're like, I didn't think that, like, these people are all in Chicago. Like, this, this is insane. Like, like, I didn't think this many, like, teenagers, kids, whatever existed, like, it really put, and that's like literally like, cause over at Lollapool's had like over like a hundred thousand people on certain days, like the certain days that I've went, and it's crazy. I've never seen so many people in one location. But if you didn't know, like that, the reason why we're going to Bonnaroo and not Lollapool's is because Lollapool's is more for like local kids that still like have that small town mentality. We, I mean, it's not a small town because like it's Chicago, but like a lot of people, but like it's just cause it's in Chicago, like downtown there's a bunch of suburb kids so like it's just a bunch of privileged kids that like their mom paid for their ticket and everyone's really obnoxious people get too drunk becky's die it's just not it's not a good time bro seeing people just flop out from just straight up dehydration is so dumb bro people just like drink way too much like people go to these like things i mean not to say that it doesn't happen at any other festival but la palooza especially there's just so many obnoxious people just for example like I, um, this light is bugging the fuck out of me. I'm going to turn my head. But, it, like, just as an, as an example, my first year, I come into Lollapalooza twice. My first year, we, we were seeing, we were supposed to see Brockhampton. And we went to go to, like, the stage or whatever to go see Brockhampton. And we got fucking, like, we watched, like, literally me and my friend Michael watched, like, two songs, bro. And, like, I was getting, like, bumped around. Like, no shit, you get bumped around. But, like, this slimy dude just kept, like, sweating on me, bro. And the crowd was just obnoxious. Like, not, a, like, not, like, a part. Like, I'm, like, I can deal with the crowd. Like, obviously, like, I've been, like, in Moshpits and shit. But, like, this this crowd just was not it. Like, it was just, it ruined, like, an experience for me that I will never forget. Because I really wanted to see Brockhampton. But it was, like, unbearable. Like, the people there were so obnoxious. Like, I wasn't going to fight anybody at a festival. But it was just such a, it was, like, it was just, like, unfortunate that we couldn't see them. Just because of, like, how, like just not cool the crowd was bro La is just is not it after that i knew i'm like i'll go one day max if it's someone i really want to see but leave me out of La Palooza. anyway so we decided to go to bonnaroo which is like it's in manchester ten tennessee i don't know where the fuck that is like it's just i don't know i literally have no idea where it is it's like in the fucking middle of nowhere anyway even if even if manchester is a thing but like it's it's like in the middle of a field like it takes so long to get there because like it isn't like just in the middle of nowhere like that's all these big festivals like electric forest for instance they're just in the middle of nowhere like they're just in wide open fields and they just build shit so that's what it is and it's a really cool festival because it's more like you have to be more committed like we're also camping Lollapalooza if you didn't know like it's there's no camping at Lollapalooza there's no it's in the middle of Chicago there's no like tents there's none of that bullshit but with like with something like Bonnaroo like it's a straight up camping experience like you kind of like you can't like even commute like you're if you're at the at that festival unless you're going for a day but if you're going for multiple days you are just like sleeping so we're like car camping it's really cool like we park your cars like at a campsite and you get make a tent and then you're with all your friends but then like also like you have a lot of tent mates and new people you get to meet 
and that's what i'm really excited for like not even just like festivals like real festivals not but like not love lose like real i don't count that as a festival but a real festival like bonnaroo it's all about like the people you meet and the people that like are around you like i'm so excited to just like i'm so mad it got like postponed for a while because i was really looking forward to like meeting new people and like just like, sharing like a, such a cool little happy experience like i'm that's what i was really hyped about because like of course i care about a lot of acts and a lot of people that i'm going to go see like tame impala and shit like i'm really been like itching to see but at the same time i'm like i don't care who the fuck i'm seeing bro we're about to be with new people bro we're about to just start vibing like i love meeting new people especially people that i know i know i will get along with because those are my type of people like because i just read so many cool experiences just cool stories and shit like on reddit any people that i know that go to like festivals and raves and shit like that kind of community because like it's not like just rave people that go to these big festivals but like real real genuine nice people go to these festivals because they're more of an investment and like you don't take things shit for granted because like you have to work to get there like you have to buy like a camping pass like it's a whole last ordeal Lollapalooza, you pay 150 bucks 140 bucks whatever for one day just to be obnoxious with your friends it's it's somewhere you live so it's like like it's not shit so like this experience is like way more immersive and way way more like you have to be way more committed like you're a serious like festival goer and you have to like and like i don't know something about like festival culture to me is so cool like just like everyone just being so nice to each other bro seeing videos of just people just going around like just shaking up everyone's all smiles bro like obviously there's like downsides and shit like there's probably stuff like not like all like smiles happy like moments but like dude everyone just is there to just have a good time bro and that's all that matters like being around people that really like you could like they're radiant like radiant people that's how i can describe it like people that you meet you're like hey man nice to meet you and you're just talking to them and then you're like just digging you're like go like it's like almost like a like a fire beat just came on you're like listening to a song you're like okay okay like when you're like just talking to someone like in that like shit like it's like a beat you're like oh oh this person is like this person is radiant like i am like radiant like this person's energy is like radiating like i can feel like their passion and it like pushes my passion and that's that's what's really important being surrounded by people that like push you like you can feel it like you talk to someone you're like yeah you're fucking right dude like you are fucking right dude like that kind of like like when you get into one of those moments if you've ever been in one it's crazy like you're like you know dude you're fucking right like 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 that when you get into moments like that with like your friends that's how you know you got a real friend like we real motivation that's when you know when you have one of those moments you've never had one of those moments you'll get one if you're surrounded by like actual positive people people that actually want to see you get better people that aren't trying to get in your way people don't have ulterior motives and like vendettas and shit like people that are actually trying to help you out bro and it's like you can feel it when someone's actually genuinely genuinely trying to help you out or just trying to like just make you have like people that are like they're like almost like using more of like their time to make you feel better than make themselves better and then think about if i'm if like i'm using all my energy to make whoever's experience really good they're using all their like energy to make my experience feel good we're just bouncing off of each other and it's just like a fucking dance party dude like that sounds fucking fire dude like i'm so like, i was just i was really excited about the peers like i feel like i'm gonna meet long-term ass friends here like and so i've been looking forward to like just people people because i just like because like in, in college like sure you meet people in class and shit but classmate friends they're not real shit no offense but like people that you meet in, in a class they don't really mean that much like you see them you talk to them get their homework assignments and shit but it ain't really that it ain't really that deep but like people like i hear crazy stories about people like you meet someone at a festival like i meet fucking billy at a festival i don't he lives in fucking i don't know boofoo ass nowhere and i'm like hey bro like you keep in contact with them and you're like i'll see you at electric force next year like that shit is dope like you won't see the dude for a year and you guys just rave like every fucking year like the same day same place you guys are like yeah see you next year dog and like you're just like you meet up with them like ain't nothing happened bro it's like a fucking time machine like that shit is crazy I just want to ramble about why I care about festivals or real festivals. And I feel like everyone should at least go to a festival one day in a real one. Like, invest. Like, literally invest your time, like, your money into a real festival. Just so, because I have never been, so I have no idea what to expect. So, like, it's good. I'm going to have, like, a obviously a, a Bonnaroo vlog. I'm going to really edit it. The Lollapalooza vlog, 
that ain't shit. Like, I look back, I was so hyped when I, like, was able to sync certain music together. But, nah, this shit is gonna be, like, like, way better. Like, I'm gonna spend way more time on editing. Because I like making shit look good. But I don't like actually, like, the actual recording part is annoying to me. Because I just record little tiny, tiny, tiny bits and add them all together. But my favorite part is once you, like, put it, all those clips and you can, like, select, like, okay, this clip here, this clip here. Like, that's my favorite. I like putting shit together and making shit look good. So that's what I like to do, personally. I don't like editing these cut comps, <laughs> never being high, like, high key honest. Hearing myself stutter, like, 25 times is not the wave. But, hey, we do it for the people. You know, we out here. So, yeah. You know, Quarantine Diaries. Um, this has been another episode. And peace.